almost ran you over. All right, so on today's episode, uh, we're going to organize my trunk kit. Or at least, at least try to organize my trunk kit. So, those of you who don't know, my name is Allie. I'm a hospice nurse, and uh, this is my um, central supply. And uh, it, it's a little messy. Oh, I zoomed in. Oh my word. As you can tell, this is the first vlog on the new camera. The first, this is the first video on the new camera. So you're gonna have to like bear with me a little bit as we go through the motions here because I really don't know what I'm doing. So the first step in organizing your trunk kit is to take, take it all out. Fully, any, fully, fully anybody, fully? Oh, there's a small bug spray. I'm looking for this. Horse manual. I have to read that someday. Must have in the car. Oh, I was looking for the scrub cap. Now that everything's taken out, it looks so gorgeous and nice. Let's get into the deets of what is supposed to be happening actually back here. So this is my current trunk kit. I have this link on my Shmamazon link tree. So it looks a mess, correct? I'm glad everybody agrees. Hopefully, it'll look a lot better by the end of this. Okay, so normally this is how my trunk kit is set up. This is like GI, GU over here. This is like wound care and different things like that. And then this is usually like extra scene I have an extra stethoscope in here, my trash bags, my cleaning stuff. Obviously, it's all very neat, so let's get started organizing this. Remember what this looked like before. In our GU, GI section, we have full insertion trays. This is an irrigation tray. We have an enema. Always got to keep a couple of enemas. Urine cup, a Foley. Are you still even good? Yes. This is a reminder, all your Foley's have expiration date. Extra saline. Extra piston syringe. Oh, a leg strap. Just ordered some of those. I thought I didn't have any. Another irrigation tray, more saline, lube. Let's see, I know I ordered some things. Okay, so I got some Foley catheter bags. I got some more leg bags, uh, Foley securement devices, another leg bag, another Foley bag, another leg bag, another strap, another device. So what's difficult is I accidentally ordered an this amount of Foley's, so I ordered them by the box instead of individually, which is fine because I, if you like having extra Foley's, the problem is they're very difficult to put in, so usually I just, I'm going to probably lay those on the top. We're going to work back to forward, starting with the biggest stuff to the small stuff. I say that now, but that might not happen. So let's get started with our uh, Foley overnight bag. And then we're going to go like this. Medium? I didn't know there were sizes. I'm going to put irrigation trays. And then you need, what I need is more insertion trays. See, sometimes you got to switch things up because it's not always going to fit the way you want. Then we got our fully securement devices, which these can fit on the side. Got our leg straps. I thought I had another one of these. I definitely have more than two of these. Hold on. Stand by. I'm gonna put our piston syringe in there, got our urine specimen cup, and our enemas. So let's put our enemas here. Our one singular Foley there. That's all of our G stuff. See how nice it looks? Voila! So much better than before. The middle part consists of Macy catheter stuff, uh, wound care stuff, apparently car cleaning stuff. Like, <laughs> no, it doesn't. I think I'm gonna leave the Macy catheters where they are. Um, I have these, which are skin staple removers. I got some Medi strips, sterile Q tips, of course, our Curlex for bulky, too, whatever. More Q tips, more Q tips. What is this? Oh, um, it's been the salt. Oh, dang, it's open. I got some of these. I'll show one. These are great for our pressure ulcers, and they also have it on the side as well. We got some Colwick color. So this is, and then I have one more thing to add this week, which is going to be our Oppy Foam Dental Packs. I'm gonna keep this in the box, and then we're gonna kind of figure it out from there. So let's see. I do tend to keep wound care stuff all in a bag because 
that's just how it do. Other things I keep in my wound care are, of course, our blood strap in here. This is great for our folks who have like edema. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put all of our wound care in here. And it may not seem like the neatest way to keep wound care, but it's kind of, excuse me, it's kind of the way I've done it since I've been a nurse. So everything is gonna go in my wound care bag. And if I need anything, I will grab it. How many times have I used these? Uh, never. Never. Another thing, of course, you gotta have a bulk of gauze pads just in case you have to get someone kickstarted on their room here. This is a Macy catheter kit. I'll do a little aside on this. A Macy catheter kit is essentially a rectal tube that can deliver medications. Specifically, we use it for end of life medications. But yeah, you use a Macy catheter kit. If you use Macy catheter kits, let me know. Okay, so now the wound care is done. I might though also put something else in here. We're gonna put my gloves in here because obviously, like that's a that's totally totes a wound care thing. Actually, maybe I should flip these around. Okay, so wound care is done, and we're gonna move on. This has gloves in it. So this is what I use normally. I just kind of rip these out to like repack my bag. So I'm just gonna put those right on top. So we're gonna move on to the next part. This is getting hot. Okay, after we finish up, I'm gonna show kind of odd things that I keep um, around my trinket in the front pockets. But let's finish up here. So in this section, <laughs> I keep this <laughs> Clorox fabric sanitizer. Microban, I spray this on my bag before I get my day started. Lysol disinfectant spray because you know, these are my bags that I use for my little garbage can, scented, of course. Okay, so I have our sandy wipes. Ta-da, not really super neat because they all fell out. Oh, you did. So in the wound care, you are not needed. Oh my gosh, <laughs> measuring tape. This isn't a nurse thing. This is a when I decide to take a random trip to Lowe's or Marshall's, I need to figure out if something's going to fit thing. We got, I need to get a new, this one's from when I was in our control. Oh my god, tell me you have a child without telling me you have a child. This is an old one. I have a pocket one that I keep in my bag. An extra blood pressure cuff, wrist cuff. Of course it's pink. <laughs> Can you tell I have a thing? Garbage. Um... Okay. So this is where my extra blood pressure cuffs are also gonna go. And then, so I have two parts of this. I could take this divider out and make it a whole part, but I feel like it's better this way. I do keep a CPR mask. Um, one little hint if you're going to hospice, make sure that you check your patient's code status before going in. I'm supposed to use this the other day, and I never did. Tara, do you guys use this? So this is what we would waste a old cassette in, or we would have our patient's families waste their comfort kit in. Um, let's say if a patient graduates off a of hospice, they no longer want the medications, or if a patient does pass away on hospice, this is how we would have the families waste their medications. For this, you know, I've used kitty litter, um, coffee grounds, anything to just deter it. Kind of interesting how it works. You can do 90 pills, 12 ounces of liquid, or 12 patches. So patches are talking um, about like fentanyl patches. You can use those in here as well. So I do keep a couple of those on hand. Um, word of the wise, if it does get cold, these will break. So this is one of the things that you're going to want to take into your house when it comes to uh, cold weather. Okay, so. This is a extra stethoscope. I don't use it. As you can tell, everything's still brain. And then this is just random stuff. Another blood pressure cup. Jesus Christ. This thing, I'm not sure. I think this is supposed to go around your belt loop. Ooh, Velcro. I like this. Stuff. What would you put in here? Probably not even an alcohol. Well, maybe an alcohol wipe would fit in there, but like. Oh, oh my. 
Okay. Huh. Ooh, you know what this is good for? Wires. Secure wires. Not like on patients, but like electronics. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure this can fit. Let's see if I can fit this in there. That would be great. So one last thing. How many blood pressure cuffs? Let's count. One, two, three. I'm pretty sure one of these is a pediatric one. Oh yeah, here we go. Tiny little one. Three so far. And then I have this mechanical one. And then I have another manual. And then I have another wrist cuff. So, but whatever. So I'm gonna put medical stuff in the back, cleaning stuff in the front. Okay, so these are gonna go somewhere else. Oh shoot, you know what I forgot? Mouthpad. This can go in GI view, because technically your GI system begins at your mouth. So ha! Found the loophole. <laughs> hmm, extra bag. These are what my PPE comes for, but I keep them because they're great to use. Um, to give the families to start uh, wound care. Like, let's say somebody just got admitted and you want to just like give them a couple things to get them going, they may not have anything. So now we're gonna put our cleaning stuff here. So we're gonna do a doot. Our book can go here. I'm gonna put this on the side. And our trash can bags. Too bad I, I can't fit them down here, but. These are gonna go on the side of my trash can anyway when that comes back. So that is pretty much all that needs to be in there. Let's take a look at how it looks now. GUGI, starting from the mouth all the way down to the bottom. We got our wound care stuff, our Macy catheters, and our gloves. And then we got our cleaning stuff. We got, and these are just like, I guess, random medical supplies. CPR mask, blood pressure cuffs, unnecessary goggle amount, uh, Terra for our medications, and that's going to be our trunk kit. I'm going to pull these back up here. These are our <laughs> accidental order of Foley catheter supplies, and then we're going to continue on and do a reset of everything else. So let's push this back in. Now I keep mine clipped here just for um, safety sake. <laughs> Yeah, could I vacuum this? Sure. We're just gonna leave it like that. These are my chucks. I have to, have to, have to put my chucks on top. And that is because if I don't put them there, then I will forget to take them into a visit, so. What everybody in home health and hospice knows we have to do is, not this, Jesus Christ. We're gonna take a look at what else I keep in here. So I keep extra Ziploc baggies. Um, these are great, again, for wound care or putting syringes in and very nice and easy to write on. This is stuff that I keep, again, the wrench. I'm not sure, <laughs> but I keep it in here just in case. It could be used as a weapon too. Um, these are Swiffer dusters. Uh, super great for just giving a once over if you have like any sort of an, an infotainment system in your car where, or a screen where it gets gross. Set the caps. Again, another great thing if you're going into a precautions home or just want to be super protective of your stethoscope. And for those of you who don't know what a stethoscope is, they're basically little scrub caps for your stethoscope. How cute. I guess you could use them for Barbie dolls too. I got some zinc paste. This is like the best stuff in the world. Extra hair bonnet. Pretty sure these are also shoe covers. Oh, I hate the plastic ones, to be honest. They just rip immediately. And I don't like those lunch lady hair bonnets. <laughs> More set the caps. Ah, these ones look like gross though. I might go in and see what I can say from there. This is a note I got from a patient. Um, or a patient's family, I should say, after they passed. And I like to keep that there because if it's in my house, oh look it. They just decided they were gonna come out on their own. Sharpie marker. Okay, so that's pretty much it. There's not a lot of extras in there. I do notice now that I do have to order some more um, barrier cream. Not this kind, but there is one more. So now we're gonna get prepped to put all the bags back in. The first thing any home health or hospice nurse or caretaker knows that if we have visit bags, they are to not touch our actual car. So what we do is, what I do, some people use a plastic tote. I use chucks because stay lovey. 
nothing really goes in, in my trunk too much anyway. So this is where my visit, visit bag goes, depending on which one I'm using that day. This one is the one that I usually use for home visits because of the fact that it's easy and small, but I do have, and I know I'm not gonna have to walk a great deal if I forget something, but usually I know what I'm getting into. Then the next bag we're gonna put in is the e-bag. And you're like, why do you have such a large easy e-bag? Because I can. Because I can. Okay. So in here, I keep masks. Obviously, I have all my PPE sets. Um, let's see, I haven't really had to use them too much recently. So that's awesome. I love this bag because it has multiple pockets. So you could put, you could use it for whatever. This would be great for like a phlebotomy bag. And another thing I keep in there is my uh, singular sandy wipes so I can just put them in my bag as I need need them and I can just flap it closed and I have access to everything else back there. Try to keep everything in bags that are easy to take in. So mask and then boop, goodbye. And then the last thing that's gonna go in the pocket corner is this bag. So this one everybody knows that I have this one it's my backpack and I use this when I go into facilities um, I keep it well stocked <laughs> because of the fact that for those who've never, you know, had to work in this system before, they are quite large and lengthy and it is not fun to have to go all the way to the back down the stairs if you forget something. Always read over the patient charts before you go into an assisted living facility because, yeah, it helps you be prepared in case you never know if they're going to run out, not have wound care stuff when you get out the, up there. At least that's for me because I don't know who I'm seeing couple more things so I have these this is what I, I keep back here tucked back here because this is what I clean my bag with when I get out of visits so that will always be my bag will always be clean before I put it down in my car and then these are my uh, paper towels I use for my hand washing thing I like these a lot I never have used them like that <laughs> so those are gonna go on there on top of everything as well and yeah besides my personal stuff this is uh this is the trunk kit this is how it looks when it's all neat and nice and organized and um ready to go thank you for joining me on this journey of organizing my trunk kit wasn't it fun please join me next time as we explore the innards of my car and organize that just kidding we're not going to do that benefits to having an organized trunk kit you know where everything is. Will it end up not being that way by the end of a busy day? Yes, yes. Because if you have not flown through your trunk kit and demolished it looking for a certain dressing or piece of literature, like patient education or Foley or whatever, can you even call yourself a home health or a hospice nurse? I don't think so. So yeah, that is it. That is the organization. We are done and we're gonna call it a day because I have work tomorrow. If you have not already, please feel free to subscribe. I really appreciate it. My goal by the end of this year is to get a plaque, a YouTube plaque. And I know that's like 100,000 subscribers. And yeah, I am grateful for just the amount that I have. I was ecstatic when I reached a thousand. That to me was insane and I really do love making videos like this. I wish I could do it more often. If you guys have any ideas for future videos, I appreciate everybody. Uh, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and on TikTok if you're on TikTok and I hope you all enjoyed this. My trunk certainly did. I will vacuum it next time. Probably not. Pray that this doesn't take me that long to edit. So thanks, enjoy the night, goodbye.